Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I'm late for being late, even. I, 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 I say, oh, I'll be 30 minutes late. I'm 34 minutes late. Ah. Uh, let's just, let's let the people know, and then we'll fucking just get going. We'll get going. We'll let them know, and we'll get going. We'll head out. We'll head pout. We'll head doubt. We'll head pat. We'll... We'll get fat, because we're love. We are love. We're love-fed fat, which turns to boredom. You already know how it is. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, Rob, Rob, Rob Kovacs posted something and I wanted to hear it, but now it's not the time! Now it's, it's not the time for that now. Alright, let's just, uh... To Twitter. Post. Uh, live now. Continuing hashtag Deadly Premonition by Sweary65. Notice me, Sweary Senpai. Uh... That's just, that's just Hoenn pro bono. Uh, more like pro ho no. Alright, post. Uh, drop the link. Hi, kill demon. I'll give you a, I'll give you a good old welcome home as soon as the stream starts. I try not to say welcome home until the stream has started. You know, like officially started because Okay, what what places do I post to? Right, okay, uh, the Rob Kova. I'm live with more deadly premonition. It's Twin Peaks. The game. Post and All right, we're posting, we're posting. Spelling bio slime. We're going to the Everything Now Show Discord where. I feel bad when I'm like the last person who also like plugged my stream in a stream plug channel. All 
All right, time for the only people who care. At everyone. Okay, there you go. Alright, let's start this fucking stream. Mokoi Super Stream. Welcome home, Moko Focos. It's Mokoi Super Stream. I'm your host, your main monster that makes the streaming demon. You already know what it is. And if you don't by now, ask your mom, because I'm your one and only drunk Uncle Mokoi. The real Mokoi, your new age retro streamer, and the king of struggle style. We're still in the struggle. I'm still a little sick. Uh, my dog still has stitches and he's still in a cone. Hopefully that ends tomorrow. God, I hope. God, I hope so. But now, it's deadly premonition time. I'm 30 minutes late. Let's just say I'm 40 minutes late, too. Whatever. I'm late. I'm late. I'm always fucking late. I wish I weren't, but I am. So anyway, let's fade that out. Let's fade that out. Get uh, get our boy... Get our, get our boy... Get our boy turned on. We're gonna turn on our boy. Deadly premonition. Gotta hit when it's like, would you like to restart with this file? Like, what? I'm Kason, Forrest Kason. Thomas, did you see Nick here? Alright, sound check, sound check, sound check. <laughs> test, 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 check, test, check. Get out of the way. I'll do it. George, stay back. She's trying to speak. <laughs> you got us good right. this time. Sounds good to me. He <laughs> sounds good to me. All right, Moco Focos, we're we're back at it again. AC's at full blast, even though it's raining outside. Bro, worst combination is rain and heat. You know who loves that shit? Only mosquitoes. I asked housemate yesterday. I was like, God, you know who loves it hot and wet? And he's like, dude, come on. And I'm like mosquitoes the weather is hot and wet and I said you know who likes it hot and wet the mosquitoes the mosquitoes anyway last time we played this the internet dropped out about six million fucking times so hopefully this time we can uh we can just kind of get past that anyway let's wait for one more minute in game time You see that little little red arrow appeared. That's a great way to kill time so I could get my gamer grease on. Do 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 do. Now you actually got to watch out for these cars. They will stop, but um They also um if you just kind of like run into them, you will get very, very fucking injured. Much like in real life. Hey, Emily, it's been a whole Nick's week. Actually, it's been six days because we get just as we're we off. Then. I wonder what happens next. Agent York, you're really enjoying this, aren't you? I have to admit, I envy you. York's that. beard is looking phenomenal. We love that for him. Sadly, it doesn't actually like grow much more than that. I, I think it might actually be maxed out. Um, because you know, it's a it's a hey, texture. York, York is leading the bar. What about Diane? She isn't here tonight. Emily, check that with George. 
George, can you hear me? Nick's leaving the bar. So I actually can't hear the Nick's game at all. Uh, because I don't want it picking up on the mic. What to do here. And I still don't have a separate pair of headphones for that. I'm thinking Nick will head to the gallery. Let's meet up there. 10 4. Copy that. Like, if the AC is off, I can just barely hear it, but, um... And this game is, like, inexorably fucking loud. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go. Kept you waiting, huh? Time to play with the big boys. Let's fucking go. So basically, this is a really boring, uh, just kind of tail him. Just kind of stay in the blue zone. You know, but the driving controls are fucking horrendous. Oh, right. Here's the problem. I didn't have my windshield wipers on. Hey now, here in Asa, it's game on, go play, and hey now, let's slow down a little bit. Okay, now he's getting away, he's getting away, oh fuck. Oh, good. There's a car in the way now. That's okay. I'll just drive on the opposite fucking side of the road. Yeah, honking doesn't matter. Putting your lights on doesn't matter. Just distance. Yep. A real exciting game. That's why everyone tunes in for Deadly Premonition. really measure space weirdly on the turns because it's like suddenly he's like way closer or something but like yep we're coming for you Nick I think I can see a car in front of him, but it's difficult to tell. Yep. Da -na 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 -na. Man, fuck you! What the fuck? 
That guy is now driving on the wrong side of the road. You see that fucker? He did like a K turn and now he's on the wrong side of the road. I'm also sorry, I got a bio noise in there. Yeah, no, I'm in that weird part now where it's like, okay, I gotta stop t drinking NyQuil. Because it's like, I'm almost better, but it's still like, yeah. But it's also like, I, I can't keep taking NyQuil. Even though I'm pretty much at home doing doing work at, working from home until, um... Until, uh, next Monday, I guess. Just streams and... Doing shit. Editing videos. Gotta finish up a flyer tonight. Um... Oh, wait, no, I do gotta take the dog tomorrow. God, I hope it's just, um, I hope, I really hope it's just, oh, okay, he's done. Bye. Because otherwise, like, if they're like, oh, well, here's more pain medication, I'm gonna say, well, no, sorry, can't really do that anymore. Um,. Okay. <laughs> the fucking stock scream. We'd all have halos by now if I was driving. Oh, I love Master Chief. I think someone's putting a curse on all the cars I drive recently. <laughs> also, welcome home, Commander Stryker. Agent York, Nick's getting away. Don't worry, time to get serious. Hold on, you two, this might get bumpy. Low frame rate, George. So Snake good here? to see you. George. No, he hasn't showed up here. What about Diane? Any movement? No action here at all. Did something happen? Yes, a little. But George, something is different about you. Are you okay? Actually, I had a little drink while I was waiting. This is my first murder case, after all. I'm on edge, and I needed one. It was only a little, though. I'm still in control. Yeah, now we show up and George is like, I'm fucking drunk. Like, good job, George. You're doing great. Zach, Nick and Diane are probably both inside. Well, York, you gotta, you have to turn the knob. George, you're sure you didn't see Nick? Positive. I haven't taken my eyes from the entrance all night. You know, except for when you were looking at the bottle. You, George. But I'm positive Nick is here. Is there another entrance? Not that I know of. Well, I'll go look for one. Help me out if you can, would you?
all right, but we're in Red World now, which is, it's weird. This is one of the few times where, like, you're in Red World, but, like, people are just kind of hanging out. Real crazy stuff. Anyway, the way in is over here. And this is one of the few places in the game where I'm in danger of death. So, because the thing about it is, these motherfuckers have... Yes. Great. Great. Great, great. Grass texture looks fucking fun. No, 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 no. Great. Okay. Uh, I guess nice it maybe shot. was a different version, but, um. I remember, um, there being just a lot of guys with shotguns right in here. Yes. Yes. Great. Well, there's one guy with a shotgun. Nice shot. Great. That lady's got a shot. Amazing. Yeah, but they spawn infinitely here, so. If it seems like I'm kind of speed running it, it's because I am. Also, everybody yell really loud in chat if, um, if the stream drops out again. Emily, I want you guys to... Wait out here, I know. I'm not gonna fight you about this anymore. But promise me this. If there's trouble, then you'll call us in, okay? You might not think so, but we're a team. A team? That's what I think, at least, and... We're friends! I'm gonna turn the game up you and Zach. slightly on you. I don't want so anything to happen to you before I hear more about you two. There, I've now turned it up twice as loud, from two to four. Anyway, my father said, hey, the Joker, I'm your dad. And I said, Dad, I'm the Joker. And then I said, Dad, I like I know I like girls, but I think I might like boys too. And he Dad, said, did you hear that? Son wants to by know about curious. It? Isn't that a nice surprise? Amazing. And then he told me I should try to explore those feelings as much as I felt comfortable doing so, and that either way, I would always be his son. And I said, thanks, Dad, I'm the Joker. Every, every time we see that fucking loading screen, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make that joke. Make a joke about the Joker. About the Joker, the most influential character of all time. I'm going to take a screenshot of the Joker, and I'm going to put a quote on it that he never said. Ah, fuck, I don't have the shotgun. Oh my god! Oh, okay, we're still not done with these fuckers. Oh, hold on. Hold on, let me eat a can of pickles. Oh, shit! God, I'm hungry. York hungry. 
This is the perfect time to eat the smoked salmon. God, we're gonna need a nap. It feels really weird taking a nap in Red World, but we're gonna have to. Somebody's blown up my phone. Gotta check it because it might be work. No. Well, it is somebody from work. Oh, right. The game. There's still... Still... No, they're messaging me more. Okay, so keep in mind these vents here. All right, so basically anytime there's a vent in a long hallway, something might happen. So anyway, here's this lady. <laughs> I forgot her face is so funny. So basically, um, what I'd ultimately want to do is have a shotgun here, but... Um, Actually, holy shit, the, um, the fucking steel pipe works so much better. So, yeah, she takes forever if you use, like, you know, bullets, but, um, yeah, no, I did not know she goes down in two hits, um, uh, with, um, with the steel pipe. So, I now actually feel a little bad that that's, uh, what happened there. God, we really just said, no, no, get down from there. <sighs> All right, and now we'll just take a little nap. <sighs> Uh-oh, we got supplies buzzing, though. We got flies buzzing. You know, we'll just eat a fucking whole potato. Just a raw potato. Bar.
Ah, he doesn't have the shotgun yet. Ah, the sword though. I want to use this. It's such a waste to like get these items, but um. Just this once, we'll get the fucking sword. Just this once, we'll get the sword. <laughs> Fucking yeah! Bum 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 Oh well now We need to get some more suits, man. You know, this deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I, and I've got fewer suits. Oh yeah, we gotta save. I was like, let's, let's handle all this before we save, then we'll save, and then we'll, uh, we'll go kick some ass. Really, York? Uh oh, the red fucking licorice. Oh, a painting of a man with an apple. A painting of a baby with an apple. And a painting of an old man with an apple. This is the entrance hall. All right, boys, you ready to profile? We're profiling now, boys. Yeah, this is way too hazy. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. Yeah, literally anything. All right, York, let's get going. <laughs> All right, so this first thing is we got to get some fucking apples. Uh, 
Because we gotta find the damn apples. Oh man, a, a painting of uh of um the fucking lady. It's that fucking lady. Shadow lady. Oh, what a friendly tree. He's waving at us. York is very nonplussed by it, but now uh, we got we got some problems. Aim. All right, we got a green apple. We got we got a green apple. We got the ripe apple. So what I think is going on is I think the, it's the, like with the last one, it's the, you know, the tree is trying to corrupt him, painting of an old man holding a ripe apple. Okay. All right. Just had to make sure which is ripe and which is red. Uh, ripe apple for you, sir. if time runs out is just York will just start laughing and it'll be a game over. You know, start laughing like he's crazy. Good old crazy York. Oh damn, Mario 64. A lot of Mario 64 shit lately. Uh oh, that lady's got a golf Great club. Great. Amazing. Yes. Like, come at me, bro. Yes. Oh, oh, needed to reload. She's got a shotgun. Bullseye. Okay, so basically when the Great. shotgun starts glowing, you need to hit them, and that'll kind of like reset it. Amazing. But anyway, that's her done. Can you believe it? The red tree drops red seeds. Oh, it's, it's over here. The red seed profile. Uh. 
That line's very out of place, because, like, when he finds the fucking red seeds in the first place... You know, he's like, this is now under my jurisdiction. You. This what case just got a whole lot bigger. It goes all the way to the top of these weird hand trees. Much more astonishing than I imagined. I'm impressed. No! Don't! I'm not even gonna stop! Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know, it's like, it's like up until, up until 3 p.m., everyone's like, ah. We should want for nothing from, from our dear Mokoi. Until like, 3 p.m., then it's like, Mokoi, come save the day, Mokoi. Mokoi, I've set myself on fire. It's okay, we still have room for first aid kits. You shouldn't swear. Take that, you potty mouth. And they, they really stood for a while, huh? Can I, can I take this? What is, what is this? Can I, can I have it? Oh, okay. Great. Yes. Yes. Yes, bullets for the gun I don't use because I use the slightly weaker infinite ammo version. Yeah, I'm I might get like I might get like two of the infinite ammo guns because it doesn't take too long. Um But you know, I said that about Great. getting fast travel, and I still don't have fast travel. Amazing. You know? I, I did I did say that. Hello, sir. Yes, I shot. Here, I'll even look at the wrong screen to shoot you. Amazing. 
Yeah, no, it, it kind of it kind of trivializes it once you realize you can just you can just um you can just kind of stay pointed in the same direction, just swing for the fences. Well, that's the second piece of the puzzle. Let's profile every time. It takes more time, but you know, you get you get paid for it, and you know, we we we, we get to you, learn a little. You. you. What are you doing here? So it was you. Much more astonishing than I imagined. I'm impressed. No. Don't. I'm not even gonna stop. Ah. Yeah. Well, there's some kind of noise going on outside. I think it's thunder, but it's pissing off Hank, so now we get Hank in the background. Good old Hank. God, I hope it's not raining tomorrow when I gotta take him to the vet. That'll be super fun. Great. Great. A shot. Amazing. Damn, item placement trolling me. That's the power of the crowbar. Oh man, bullets for the shotgun we don't have. Oh yeah, we may have another murder case in our hands, you know what, with the murder and all that. Alright, 
let's make use of the sword. Memories broken, the truth goes unspoken. I've even forgotten my name. What is the reason? I don't know the season. Something. Na -na 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 -na. Oh shit, it's a tape? Okay. Enough to have piece mark has been drawn in blood on this circular painting. No part of her collection, I figure. Oh, not part. Well, there we go. A profiling start. You? What are you doing here? So it was you. Much more astonishing than I imagined. I'm impressed. No! Don't! I'm not even gonna stop! Hey, that hand's flipping me off. Nah, that's doing a, the come here. Oh, okay, we can save here. Kinda, kinda, kinda weird getting around that route there. And the AC is back on, so I can't hate a game, so I'm flying blind. Oh, okay, this lady. Ah, oh, fuck, I should have. I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, so I guess the pipe will hit, but this ain't.
Okay, so apparently the sword can't hit her when she's on the ceiling, so. God, I guess I gotta use one of my healing items for once. Another one. Man, do they do they just have way less health now? Like what what what's going on? That enemy used to be vaguely threat oh, okay, there's another one. Oh, she ain't done. Yeah, they also like throw a fucking like shadow ball from Pokemon. Maybe maybe it's only taking or only registering a few hits, and it's it's weak because it's from the um, because it's from the machine gun, which is you know weaker bullets, higher firing rate. Yeah, okay, we'll just shoot her there. That's cool. It's just like no no implication that one's suddenly harder. Oh, shit. I remember playing this game silently, so you know, probably would have heard them. Great. Before. Great. Okay. Cletus Jim over here. Yes. Great. Jimmy McCletus. Jimmy McCloutus. Great. It's amazing. Amazing. See, it's it's really funny when I when I give them like funny names. Let's uh let's peak humor. Haha. <laughs> As if I ain't shaving for shit.
Like, look at this sick ass beard we got. Just look at it. Look, look at, look at how beautiful it is. And we only get like thirty bucks for shaving. You guys ready for another epic cutscene? Blood! The lady! She's up there! Agent Morgan, where are you? Answer me! Come on, open up! Okay, George, now she's still alive. Don't fuck it up this time, okay? Diane? George, call for assistance with the body. Wait! She's still alive. I'm oh, sorry, I spoiled that. My bad. Diane, don't move. Don't move her hands and stay still. George, it's no good. It won't budge. Emily, stand back. Yeah, George will handle this. Oh shit, is George actually being useful? Oh, fuck. See, I, it's hard to tell what happens there. I think it's one of the cord snaps and hits him in the face. And like, just opens up the scar he already had. Fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Think about it every night and day. Spread my wings and fly away. York should fucking play basketball with it. With a, I guess that'd be more like a horizontal. Well, there's some sports for that. I don't know, I think if you could horizontally jump good. Thomas! Call an ambulance! What? A what? A damn ambulance! You're a fucking cop! Agent York, George, are you okay? Uh, yes, I'm okay. I think I'm too old to be an acrobat, though. Diane looks okay, too. She should be able to tell us who did this to her. God, I hope so. But you, George, quite a catch. I'm impressed. Hmm? George? Uh. Oh, hey, 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 Diane. Hey, hey. Hey. How you doing? Y yeah, all right. Okay. What a beautiful place. The reason why I feel feel off is oh. many directions. Combination of sharp objects, light waves, and the darkness. We're driving a truly deep and 
gratitude in all who create. Every woman will find her value about being better created by your plot voice. I don't I don't think that's true. There, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Yeah, Nick. Huh. And why are you wearing back off? Don't touch me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, 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 Diane, move. Diane. Diane. Diane, move. Diane. Move. Don't. Diane, don't. Emily, em Emily, watch out. Another case solved. Good job, team. We we did it. We're we're beat up, we're traumatized, and we're no closer to catching the criminal. Unless it is Nick. Requested and Thomas will need a body bag too. <laughs> Is Hank actually picking up? You'll hear Hank in the background. Being an idiot. Can you hear that? Hmm? Oh. Well, it's a dog. Hey, looks like everything's fine now that the dog's here. You know, the opposite of reality. He wants us to follow him. Shall we follow Zach? Hold on a second, I think Hank might have uh, let himself out.
All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, I'm back, I'm back. Yeah, no, Hank somehow got the back door open, which is better than what I thought he might have done, because I thought he fucking, uh... Might have smashed through a window, because he understands windows. I don't know if he quite knows that he can bust through them, but... You know, he's Hank, dog of destruction and chaos. I'm really hoping it was luck and something he can't replicate. Um... Oh, welcome back, Cody. Welcome back to the Mogo Super Stream. Go on, Willie. Sweet. And by putting on the brisket for tomorrow, you mean you're going to microwave it to try to fool the pit master. God, I was gonna say, like, who aggrandizes themselves in a business review? But, no, yeah, that is the kind of people who leave business reviews. Good old Deputy Willie on the case. Willie. You know, at this point, it's like, I mean, we can see the blood trail. I think we know where to go. Hey, Willie, are you going to lead me around the room and then back to this door? I bet you will. I was never book smart, I'm money smart, makes me more intelligent. Hey Willie, you, you realize this thing you're not showing me? Well, he's like, oh yeah, no, no, it was over here. 
Yeah, fuck you, Willie. I figured it out. Willie, are you out there? Casey. What are you doing in there? Yeah, what are you doing in there, Casey? Thank God. I can't get this door open. Can you unlock it from your side? Casey, stand away from the door. Fucking Gabe Noel Peter Griffin looking ass. I mean, I have no reason to hate this man. He is not Wait bad in any way. And what are you doing? I was going to ask you the same thing. Well, let's just say I have my reasons, you know. Pri private reasons. I don't really have to tell you, do I? Actually, you do. Diane just died a moment ago. What? You're not just a key witness now. You're now a suspect. And you need to tell me exactly what you're doing here. Well... I just, I just came here to talk with Diane, to have a conversation. And I suppose that kiss very cool, bot. Thank you. Is from your conversation. I'll make sure to take you up on that offer. This half past fucking moment, never. Which is exactly what killed Diane. Okay, okay. I came here to be with Diane. You happy now? We've been together before, a, a, a couple times. It's one of the reasons why I like coming to this town, see? This time is no different. I, I, I bumped into her in a bar in Seattle. I had some, some holiday coming up. Well, so, so I just took it and I drove her back here. I have a wife, you know, but, but we've been separated for a while. We're going through a divorce right now, and I don't want her lawyer finding out. Anyway, how could I kill Diane if I was in a room locked from the outside? Two hours ago, me and Diane, we were taking it easy, drinking upstairs. We were, you know, enjoying ourselves. Then Nick had to show up. Well, then Diane had a sudden change of heart. She locked me up in here. I've just been here. That's fucking wild, man. Door, but, but she didn't. I heard footsteps a couple of times, but they just passed by. Well, then I couldn't wait anymore, so I let Willie here out through the window. Then you showed up instead of Diane. Zach, Diane has become the third victim of our killer. And nada from questioning Nick. Nothing. Got no new leads from questioning Nick. He's taken the death of Diane really badly. And shot the works. He claims to have liked talking to her about art, but he also had a problem with her views about men. He says that they argued, but not at a level that would lead to a murder. They were about to head out to the bar again together, but while he was waiting for Diane, someone knocked him out cold. He has no idea who it was, either. Of course, Kaysen looks like a prime suspect, but that door was locked from the outside. There was no other way in or out of that room. Which means there is no evidence of his involvement at this time. He did say something else. The footsteps he heard outside the room were not heels, but a man's boots. And Nick was wearing boots. And now that Diane's dead, no one can back up Nick's statement. Which is why we have Nick in custody and have to let Casey go free. That seemed like the only option, at least for now. One more thing, Zach. George looked terribly depressed. At least this case is really important. He's really responsible for the deaths of Becky and Diane. Take his rules and confidence away from him, and what was left. Well, of course, he'd still have muscle.
right. All right, we're, we're doing it, we're doing it. Ah, the good old potato. My, 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 my mentor, always by my side, the potato. Zach, let's get back to the hotel. First Anna, then Becky, now Diane. I'm not looking forward to writing this investigation report. Agent Morgan. York. Do you have a moment? What is it, George? There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Do you have any time later? Can't we just do it here? If possible, I'd like to go to a bar. Of course, we don't really have to. Yorkie, oh, I, I mean, George, you just got drunk before like the investigation. Idea. Zach, what do you think? We can go drinking with George, or turn him down and head back to the hotel. Oh, yeah, let's go with that drink. George, that scar on your cheek, where did you get it? This? Didn't I tell you? Well, it's not from work. I got it when I was a kid. A childhood injury. Tree climbing? I used to get a few scrapes myself climbing the big tree in our backyard. I used to climb it a lot. And fall out of it a lot. <laughs> this wasn't anything like that, though. It was my mother. She did it. I'm sorry, George. Don't worry. It's ancient history. The world is flooded with unreasonable violence. The strong overpower the weak, adults over children, men over women, and criminals over their victims. I have no memories of my father. He left before I knew him. My mother would hit me every time I asked why. And it didn't stop there. If I ate too slow, left my shoes scattered around, TV volume too loud, she found reasons to hit me. Hit me bad. The worst was what she called the tree punishment. She'd whip my back with these thin tree branches like a whip. Okay. Tree punishment was definitely the worst, I tell you. Just hearing those words used to make me shiver and want to pass out. And that's why I didn't want to show you those scars on my back. Every time after the tree punishment, she'd always say the same thing. This is hurting the tree more than it is hurting you. And me, being a naive, dumb kid, I believed her. I went to the woods to apologize to the trees. Aw, oh, George. It's okay, Cody, but look at George now. Why is she hurting me this way? I thought long and hard about it. In the end, I just figured I'm weaker than her. That's why. It's the law of Mother Nature at work. The strong eat the weak. But now, you have the power to protect the weak. That's right. Perhaps I should thank my mother for guiding me into this line of work. York. I've been an arrogant fool, haven't I? And if it weren't for me, both Becky and Diane would still be alive. 
Jesus. Yeah, George, you kind of fucked up. Them both. You know, it's almost like they died because of me. You're out of your mind. I invited you to this bar for a drink. But I guess this bar is my confession chamber. And I wanted you to listen. And to tell you. Well, you must already hate me for causing all these problems, not following your orders. York, I'm sorry. I'll follow your orders from now on. You'll have my total cooperation. George, you've been as cooperative as Bang. you can be. You even invited an FBI guy to a bar for drinks. You've done a good job protecting this town. And the folks here respect you for that. Nobody can blame you for anything. Thanks. I do feel a little better. Well, we just got the we just started the George social link. Uh, I, I guess he would I want to say the fool, but, you know, that, that would. OK. I'm sorry to hear that, Cody, but. It's, uh... Hi, Carol. Hey, Carol. Becky is dead. Diane, too. Jeez, York. We've got Nick in custody as a suspect. Nick didn't do it. I know. Carol, you took a locket from Diane, didn't you? A locket with this mark on it. I'm busy, gotta go. Get ready for, get ready for the best song. Cutscene really exemplifies um, a lot of deadly premonitions weak points. I wasn't looking. I wasn't looking at this woman performing. I mean, it's not the worst song in the world. It's just, I don't know what is wrong with the lyrics, but they're very difficult to understand.
Well, George, what'd you think of that? Sorry to keep you waiting, boys. What? Emily is already a goddess of the forest. Let's forget work for a bit and drink a little, shall we? York? Why is she here? I just thought the more the merrier. You know, to relax and get loose. Is this a problem? No, of course not. Pardon me, Emily, but I'm pooped. I think I'll just call it a night. George, I just got here and you're walking out on me? I was hoping the three of us could have a drink and let out a little steam. I'm afraid I've already had enough. And I already had a good man-to-man -man with York. So I'll see you guys. Yeah, this was supposed to be boys' night. And also you're like way overdressed. I think George likes you. But he's avoiding you all at the same time. <laughs> How astute. There's a reason? Nothing worth going into. It's a thing of the past. I'll have a story about that after this. <laughs> okay. He did ask me out when I first came to town. I was still in high school. Wee woo, I wee never woo! Really considered him my type. And there's the age gap thing, too. I wee woo, him, wee woo! I wouldn't have taken this job otherwise. So, did you move to this town alone? Of course not. I came with my parents. Tell me about them then. Sure, why not? My dad dealt in stocks in New York. He was hardly at home when I was a kid, always working. Those pieces of paper were far more important to him than I was. Which is no different now, really. I, I don't see much of him. My mother? Totally different story. A wonderful person that I still respect. She was always kind and understanding. Not only that, but she would always help me find my way. She could be fierce, too, scolding me if I took a wrong step. We had our battles, sure, but... All in all, she was a wonderful mother. Past tense? Yeah, she's gone now. Cancer, just before I graduated high school. She Ooh. gave this to me just before she died. I take it with me wherever I go. It's what I treasure most. I'm sure she's very proud of you. All right, and see, you can miss a lot of that if, one, you turn down George, two, you don't talk to, um, you don't talk to Carol, and then three, you don't talk to George again. I had a good time tonight. Good night. See you tomorrow. York. Yes. Please, don't lie to us, okay? I won't. Don't worry. I won't. Well, all right then. Yeah, but no, e Emily, uh, you kind of kind of way overdressed for this occasion, Emily. But you know, I've I've never had a girl join for you know having having boys' night, but like, I I have gone to f I have I have gone to hang out with you know one one of my, one of my boys, and you know a a a, a lady friend, um. And 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 the 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 lady has come like overdressed for where we're going. It's always just kind of 
I don't know. It's probably just because I have like horrible, not the worst anxiety in the world, but you know, some anxiety about literally anything. That this is always just like, hey, we we walk in and we uh, we're we're the we're the guys with the with the girl who just really really dressed up for the occasion. When we're at like a dive bar. See, like, man, so sorry, ladies, y'all, y'all got your work cut out for you on uh, when it comes to dressing appropriately for a situation, like in regards to like fanciness level. When you when you're a dude, at least this is my opinion. Um, you know, it's hard to it's hard to overdress for for anything because you can like wear a suit and still just be like, oh yeah, no, he's he's wearing a suit, just a man in a suit. There he is, man in the suit. Like, maybe if you put on, like, a fucking tuxedo, then you're, 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 you're too far. Too far. Pull it back. Pull it back. All right. So, just got I just got to hop on January way. Okay, drive. Second left. Take a right. Drive second left, take a right, keep going. And we're off. There was another really bad one around this time of year. Three years ago. Remember, Zach? Yes, that's right. That one. Multiple homicide, same MO. Across Utah, Colorado, and Missouri. The victim Oh, were all the Missouri housewives. But after being run over so many times by a car, they didn't look human. Five victims in two months in the three states. The way he killed them was always the same. But aside from that, there was nothing that linked the victims together. Well, they, they were all married. But age, race, nothing else matched up. Tire marks and fragments of paint ID'd the car that was used. That's where things got really tricky. The perpetrator used a 1993 model Cadillac Elante as a weapon. It was registered in the name of one senator... No. I don't feel like talking about this anymore. That senator's basement. I wish I could forget what I saw there. Yep. That's pretty crazy, York. Are we close by to George's house? Just a little further, just a little further. Now there's no computer over it, which, um... I think we're right next to it. Yep. <laughs> ah, I knew we weren't gonna clear that. Fuck. Okay, come on, George, please. George, we're friends now. We're friends now, George. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? Well, I'll join you if you like, but I do need to get that report written. Once you're finished, let's head back to the hotel. the misery I just want to fast travel can't you see
I guess if we just go back down the road, we can check out Emily, because there's something for Emily, too. Even though I think at this point in the story, it's going to be like, nah. Live in misery. Everybody wants to touch my knee. Let's focus on the case at hand. The murders with the red seeds. Officially, the Bureau has not made a statement about these seeds. Some even claim that they are irrelevant to the killings. But after the red seeds were found in a Boston homicide, I've been unable to get them out of my head. I've even gone through all of the files looking for similar cases, and we found seven other homicides related to the seeds. The victims were all young girls, and they were killed in eight different states. They arrested all seven murderers, but there was no connection between them. However, we must not overlook there was one thing linking the cases together, and that's the red seeds. And I have a hunch this case here in Greenvale is going to lead us to the truth about those seeds. Don't you think so, Zach? Well, let's just do what we can do and do our best. And by doing our best, I'm sure we'll get to where we need to go. Hi, Sigourney. So if I recall correctly, uh, Sigourney's quests are like... Hey, Sigourney. I'm glad you're here. My pot, it's getting cold. Please, let's get going. Could you explain what you're talking about? What are you rambling on about? My pot's getting cold as we speak. Hurry, hurry! Zach, I guess we're going to have to drive her home. But I wonder what happens when her pot gets cold. Here we go, number 44, Cold Pot 1. Uh... This is not good. It's losing more and more of its warmth. At this rate, my pot is going to get cold. Hurry, hurry! Step on it! Why do you have to drive so safely? Can't you see my pot is getting cold? This is not good. It's losing at this rate. My pot is going to get cold. Oh, thanks to you, my pot is still warm. I'm glad to hear that. Don't get so excited, will you? Keep your voice down. What, are you going to tell me a secret? The pot knows everything. Here's all. Hmm? If you can't find the person you are looking for, you need to look at things from a different angle. There is only one truth, but more than one is always visible. Like cooking a stew. Make sure it doesn't get burnt, and keep an eye on it. You have to gently 
gently mix it sometimes and wait until it's ready. Listen carefully. Uh -huh. The best stew is a stew that is boiled slowly. Ah! Trading card jump scare. Oh, my pot is getting cold again. Did you have to talk so long? Oh. God, you gotta love the 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 side quest complete. Bum bum bum. Okay, I feel like I I feel like I failed. All right, is anybody else doing quests right now? No, oh, Polly's got a quest. Oh yeah, I guess Nick would be at the police station on account of how he's in jail. God, everyone's at the, the good old Sweary 65. I'm really not trying to do too many side quests because it's like we're, we're trying to we're trying to. No, I think I just have to take a right and then I go up the road a while before eventually. Yep, I'm right. Who's that? Oh, Roman Sigorn. Yeah, no, we just dropped her off, and she's over here. A fucking fucking running man from N64 over here. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. I'm not doing that on purpose. That's me literally trying to keep control of the car. Oh, there is like one thing that we need to do. Um, You know, hold on. Is Sigourney just hanging out there, or does she have another quest already? She doesn't have the little laptop on her, so... Hello, Sigourney. Okay, bye, Sigourney. Just keep being a crazed woman. So, I, 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 as much as I enjoyed like the first two episodes of, of Twin Peaks, I, I have difficulty just watching a show. I, I gotta be more like engaged with what I'm doing, you know. Um. But I do know there was a, a character called the Log Lady. It was like, my log knows. So I'm guessing Sigourney is just the Log Lady, but with a pot and also uh, time trial side quests.
Zack, let's go over our progress. From what Olivia told us, and the sketchbook we found at Becky's house, Nick and Diane became our primary suspects. There were a couple of reasons for this. Ooh, big First, thunder. Becky gave the missing locket to Diane. Also, Nick has no alibi for when Anna and Becky were killed. We followed Nick to the art gallery, which led us, unfortunately, to our third victim. The third victim, Diane, was strung up in the entrance hall of the art gallery. Her hands were tied and a knife was sticking out of her chest. However, there was a marked difference from the previous crimes. Do you remember what that was, Zach? That's right. Diane was still alive. Hey, got him. This suggests that very little time had passed since the crime was committed. Which means the criminal was still close by. It was someone near the scene. There are two possible candidates. Nick, who was knocked out in the entrance. And one other. Zach, who was the other person in the gallery? Oh, it was Willie the dog. No, it was Kaysen. That's right. Kaysen. We followed Willie, good dog, all the way to him. Kaysen's statement came out as follows. He and Diane were in a physical relationship. That was why he visited the gallery. God, guys, the guys, the of never give up. If Kaysen, up. Again, it's fictional, but Diane lost Kaysen can pull a lady like, like, uh, like Diane. There's hope Kaysen for us all. Here, he was locked up. That's wrong, Zach. I, I wasn't what paying attention Kaysen to the question. When he was locked in the basement. That's it. The sound of boots passing by. Nick was wearing boots that day which means it was likely that Diane met with Nick in her room. Goddamn alerts Nick said he argued verbally Hold on. with Diane about her playing around with men, but they eventually decided to go out drinking to make up. However, immediately after that, Nick was attacked by someone in the entrance hall and knocked unconscious. We saw the rest. Zach, do you think that Nick is our serial killer? Never give up, trust your instincts. There you go. There you go. Me too. Usher sent in a report too. He found a large volume of red seeds in Diane's stomach. This confirms her as a victim of the raincoat killer. Remaining leads. There's the locket, which is in Carol's possession. The man with the tattooed back and the upside down peace sign. There's a lot left to answer. I hope the coffee will give us more guidance tomorrow. Bum bum bum. Zach, what did you think about George pouring his heart out? I was surprised. It's the end of a monarchy. And he called me York instead of Agent Morgan. Best pal now. Oh, Emily? hi, Emily. What's going on? Do you know what time it is? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I couldn't sleep, so I was drinking alone. And you drove here? My mother was a very kind woman. She always smiled so brightly. I baked cakes and cookies every day. She'd say that I needed the sugar because I spent so much time thinking. My father was always quiet. We never talked much. He was a federal agent, just like me. And he was hardly ever at home. 
The only words he ever had for me were harsh ones. I had a vivid imagination, and I remember he once said this to me. There are plenty of crazy things in this world. You don't have to go dreaming them up. And it's my job to make sense out of them. One day you'll understand what I'm saying. I found out later that my father was one of the first to ever use criminal profiling to catch bad guys. And so now I'm doing exactly the same job that he did. Like father, like son. Can I ask you something? Shoot. Mind if it's something personal? Fire away. Who's Zach? <laughs> <laughs> um, Zach is a friend of mine. Yeah. Oh, so you do have friends. Oh, uh, yeah. He's my only friend. What kind of person is he then? Well, uh, I've never seen his face. But he's always with me, and we discuss everything. What? When did you become friends? A long time ago. Back when I was a child. I was seven. I woke up one morning to hear my mother crying in the living room. This wasn't normal, so I headed in to see her. My father was there pointing a gun at my mother. I was so scared. I closed my eyes, so I, I don't remember much more. Oh, yeah, it's really coming down outside now. Um, but I do remember no. the words my father said to me. Totally not. At times we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. When I came back to my senses, they were both dead. He shot my mother and then killed himself. Oh, I'm so sorry. Don't worry about it. Zach's with me. It was around that time that we became friends. I'm here. I'm with you, he said. I'll be here always. We can get through this together. Quite aside from that terrible scene in front of me, that voice seemed to make me calmer. And here we are, working together, getting through things. Ah, damn it. This is the first time I've ever told anyone about this. I wonder if Zack will get angry. That's a sad story. But I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I'm sure there was a reason for what your father did. I know. I think maybe I became an agent to find out why he did what he did. You work. I, I forgot to thank you. Thank me? For what? You saved my life. If you didn't save me at the gallery, I would have died along with Diane. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. What did you just say? Useless? <laughs> I was never expecting to hear you say that. Huh. There might be a modest guy in you after all. Finally, you noticed? You're a little slow, aren't you? Maybe <laughs> hopeless, but not useless. So anyway, you know, York admitted... Zach. Yeah, no, I'm fucking crazy. Home safely? Presumably, I'm fucking anyway, crazy. I think it's more serious of a situation than I thought. Do you remember? Our conversation with Emily. She's really interested in you. I think she's starting to have certain feelings for you. If that's the case, Zach, 
you and I are rivals. This is a very serious situation indeed. Well, if it comes to that, let it be a fair fight. Agreed? Hey Nick, how you doing? Please. So glad we caught the criminal. Just for a moment. One second. You've been in there a few hours. Calm down, murder man. Come on, please. Thomas. You're going away for a long time, Nick, for murdering people. That's a that's a bad photograph. What is this room? Oh no! <laughs> ah, the pendant. It's in a sex dungeon. Well, all right then. To that Zach view investigation. So you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? In New York, Nick is leaving the bar. Wait, she's still alive. Stop right there, Nick. You're under arrest for the attempted murder of Diane Ames. Emily, hurry! You saved my life. No need to thank me for that. I'm pretty useless. I couldn't save Becky. I couldn't save Diane. All right. We're in the right room. Let's see if we can despawn things. Uh-oh. Looks like uh, many doors, Ed boys. Damn, but there's no turning back. But yeah, York essentially just sat down with... Uh, hello, sir. Who the hell is this person? Open this door. There is no turning back. You still want to enter? I do. It's better than staying here. Very well. Off you go, Mr. Ah, oh, fuck. Look carefully, boy. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love.
Oh my god! Dun 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 dun. Yurk's like, oh god. I can't believe I was in such stupid pajamas. I was a kid, so it's okay, but god, I look dumb. Mr. Morgan, do you want a refill? Yes, thank you. Is the coffee that good, Mr. Morgan? Coffee is a vital investigative tool. I know exactly what to do now. York, let her have the damn coffee. Renovation start Monday. Red tags are two for one. Yellow tag is 60% off. Or we could look how the ring is, uh... It says to hurry. And the first letter of each line is H-A-R-R-Y. Hurry to Harry. Looks like the time that he was talking about has come. Let's go pay the problematic rich boy who owns half of the town a visit. Polly, I think I'm going to go see Harry today. Oh, really? He's a little strange, but I think he's the most trustworthy one around here. I think you'll have fun with him. If you say so, Polly, then we probably will. Of course! Now, give me your cup, and I'll give you some more coffee. I'll see you later, Polly. You know, there, there, there is like very, uh, there, there's, there's attempts at subtle humor. They don't always hit perfectly, but I appreciate them. Like in that scene, you know, York kept trying to get it, but he just, uh, he did not, he did not get it. Ah, good old green tomatoes. But, you know, York kept pulling it away. Funny stuff. Ah, hello, low frame rate Emily. Jeez. York, I can't find Thomas. Was he here? No, I haven't seen him. Have you tried the radio? I've been trying, but he's not answering. <sighs> what about Nick? No problem with him. He's calmed down a little. He's still saying you didn't do it. Nick said that Thomas disappeared sometime during the night. He kept calling for him, but Thomas stopped responding. I I'm a bit worried. George has asked for permission to search for Thomas. I understand that things have been hard for Thomas, but surely he's just resting at home. Uh, but I'm not against looking for him. Tell George that he has my blessing. Okay. As far as I know, Thomas always calls in when he needs a day off. We're human, and so we are limited. As far as you know, there haven't been any serial killings here before, right? That's right, but that's not... Emily, I'm going to see Harry today. What? Why? We have plenty of other leads to follow, don't we? He did invite me over, though. It would be bad manners not to accept. Are you really an FBI agent? Uh, the, the best FBI of the best, would lady. A more logical approach to investigations. But Emily, serial killer does not stay within the boundaries of logic. Thus, you can't hope to capture such a killer using only logic. That's why I'm going to see Harry. And then you go with George and find Thomas. Okay, sounds like a plan. Great, thanks. was an idiot for thinking he might be a good pick. I really need to work on my taste in men. 
<laughs> oh, Emily. You know, normally in this case, I'd be like, well, you could just like trust him. You know, trust is important in a, in a budding relationship, but also, yeah, no, yeah, he, he's. I could understand why she'd be like, what the fuck is going on with this dude? Becky's house, Harry's mansion. Ooh, we might actually want to go there. So yeah, actually we're going to we're going to go ahead and go um I'm not certain, but I think there's a, a slightly special sequence if we go get lunch at the um, at the uh, at the station right now, you know, because Thomas is missing. But yeah, normally, hi Ivy Sor E G, how you doing? Welcome to the Mokoi Super Stream, where we're always. here. Hold on, is that a fucking mosquito? Hold on, is that a fucking mosquito? I'm a scooter. Land on my hand. Land on my hand so I can squash you. God damn it. <laughs> Just bathed right through that telephone pole, huh? Wild stuff, man. So, what brings you here today? I, I was. Oh, you've you already go somewhere before we visit. Aaron? Gone. That's fine by me. Is it is it Ivy Sore eating good? Is that why there's a Ivy Sore with like a chef's hat? Is it is that is that why there's like an Ivy Sore with a chef's hat? Is that what's going on? Ivy Sore eating good in the neighborhood? Okay, we gotta find Emily. Have you played this game before? Yes, I have. I, um, I've played through this in its entirety twice. I'm just playing through it again for the, for the, you know, for the good old, for the good old, good old October. You're playing spooky games. Have you played this game before? Why 
Where is where is Emily? But my interpretation of the moral of this game is really abhorrent, so I look for new streams to get a different interpretation. For example, uh, the symbolic meaning of the red seeds. Um, what is your idea of the of the moral of this game? Um, did you mean abhorrent or arborent? Because uh, trees. Okay, that's that's fair. Yeah, I've been I've been trying to like I've been trying to keep it like low spoils. Like one of my I I have a stream intro that I haven't been using all month because um it's it's like from the ending of the sequel and I so I've been avoiding using it. Um MLA, can I have lunch please? I thought about ordering in, but since we had leftovers, I made us lunch. Mm. What's with the face? I think my cooking turned out pretty good today. Okay, great. A sudden crisis. What should I do, Zach? I might not be a wonder chef like Thomas, but I do practice every day. And the music is so loud over... Oh. Well... Yeah, no, it sounds it sounds like it's not, but it is. The audio mixing in this game is is ridiculous a lot of the time. To the sewer once during an investigation. Okay, just stop right there. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Uh huh. Oh, 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 oh. What? I've I've never had that happen before. Yeah, it looks like we've got a little. Got, I've got something sticking off the side. I don't know what is the meaning of her terrible cooking. Um. I, I think it's that some people think um being a bad cook is a, is an endearing quality. There's like, a, there's like a little something sticking off the side of the... It's like, what? what is that? What is that? I'm, I'm getting really close in. I can't see what that fucking symbol is. Um, but, okay, I guess we have like a, a tapeworm or something now. Um, uh, let me look this up actually, because I don't want to, I don't want to get fucked over by having a parasite. Okay, I don't know what it means, and there's there's nothing. I can't really find anything for it. Um, but yeah, I'd be sore eating good. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know. I don't really think this. I don't really feel like this game has much of a moral. I feel like it's just a story about a about a guy in a murder mystery. Uh, 
Like, I don't, I don't feel like it's, I don't feel like it's, like, super deep. I think, I think Sweary just wanted to make, uh, Twin Peaks the video game, and then he needed to make it, um, legally distinct. Here's a long story of Twin Peaks fan overanalyzing the show. I found Usenet archives from the early 90s of crazy fan series. So we have to overanalyze this game, too. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Um, hmm. What would the moral of this game be? Um... That sometimes you gotta be a, a funny FBI agent if you want to really, really catch a criminal. Good, I don't know. Um, I think it attempts to say something about sexism being bad. Um, I think it tries, in 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 a way. Where is my car? I'll tell you what, I ain't walking. Um. York is a metaphor for Jesus. Uh, I could get into like more stuff, but um, um, I gotta, I gotta save that being too spoily. Um, um, Okay, I gotta get on the January way. Um, I do think it's neat that, um... Okay, so I just need to take a left up here. I think it's neat the way they use the first letter of people's names. Um, like, if you look at it, uh, the first woman killed is Anna Graham, then it's Becky... Zach, we've ended up with a third victim. That Hold on, let's, let's let him talk. ...ended up being a wasted attempt to save a life. It's a real mess, Zach. <sighs> dive. When's the last time I made a dive like that? Oh, I remember. Do you? It was in my late teens. We used to go to those concerts. You and I like punk rock, but we like different types of punk. You liked hard and heavy punk, like Crash and Sham 69. I like the more twisted ones, like the Damned, Buzzcocks, Iggy Pop, and Joy Division. We used to talk for hours about the bands we really liked, but for some reason, neither of us listened to the Sex Pistols. I wonder why that was. It seems strange thinking about it now. Okay, um... But yeah, that York and Zach, um, that like, it starts with it with the alphabetical order of murders of ABC, 
and York and Zach, you know, Y and Z, are at the end of the, you know, alphabet. I think I, I, I see a crap head. Um, I, 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 I don't know everybody's name off the top of my head, but there's a, I think is there's nobody like with a name. No, no, there's Isaac and Isaiah. Yeah, never mind. I'm wrong. Let's pull up to the milk barn. Hold on, York. We can talk later. It's really coming down outside. Um, I think we can get an infinite weapon right now. Okay. No, where, where's Lily? Where's Lily? Where's Lily? I no! I mean, I think that's, I think that feels like coincidence, but I, I know what you mean. I, I know what you mean. Um, ha, perfect suit if you want to be cool. Oh my God, look, look at, look at how off on the side there's like a little, a little line that I don't think should be there. Um, Oh, fuck. That's where it is. Damn. Hold on. Hey, man. The spot on the map is called Cope's Tunnel. It's one of a couple of places in town where, like, spooky stuff happens. I'll tell you a story, okay, man? But uh, don't go spreading it around. The spirits, they don't like publicity. Back when this place was a lumber kingdom, you know, the rockin' 80s, that tunnel was the main connection from the lumber yard to this town. Every day, huge trailers would like come in and out. Lots of traffic, dude. Of course, some people were like all up in arms. Save our nature, stop pollution, you know. Big business was pushing in here from all over the US of A. Everyone was bickering over the forest. So some of the town people got even more worked up, you know. They started a protest inside the tunnel itself. I guess maybe that was the start of all the bad times. Bad times? Oh yeah, man. Rough stuff and heavy times, man. The conservationists and the lumber workers faced off with each other. Neither side was backing down, and that made things worse. Amid all this chaos, there was a man and a woman who got engaged. Problem was that the man was a lumberjack, and the woman, she was a tree hugger. They rarely ever fought, but then, one morning, they had a lover's quarrel. People think that her love of nature clashed with his profession. But we'll never know what they really were fighting about that morning. The man shouted. He called her an idiot. And then he stormed out and went to work. If only he had known, that would be the last word he would ever say to her. When he finished his work for the day, he got in his car and drove home. 
When he got to the tunnel, he saw lantern lights glowing faintly. Those fools, not again. He just thought they were protesting in the tunnel again. And to scare them a little, he decided to speed up. He probably thought they'd all scatter so he wouldn't hit them, but the lights didn't move. In fact, one came toward him. A second later, there was a thud, and the lantern flew up into the air. He slammed on his brakes, too late, of course. Then, totally freaked, climbed out to see what had happened. I don't need to tell you who he hit, do I? What's more, in her mangled hand, there was a letter to the head of the lumber mill, a peaceful settlement offer. The woman had no other relatives other than the man, and the lumber mill took no responsibility for the accident. It was going out of business anyways. What happened to the man then? No one saw him again. Some say he killed himself or simply just vanished. You know, he might still be in the tunnel, weeping over his lost love. So now, some folks say there's a ghost of a young man that haunts the tunnel. I told you it was called Cope's Tunnel, right? Well, check this out. Some people call it Corpse Tunnel now. You better be careful, Mr. FBI, if you go down there by yourself. <laughs> Well, a lot of people actually um, uh, leave me on in the background. I'm kind of a kind of a little background guy. Anyway, we got some cash for the second uh, spiritual, special spiritual map of Greenvale. Let's get that one too while I'm at it. And actually, while that's going to go on, we'll hey, go up here real quick. This map shows a station along the abandoned Extended Lines track. Now that was a busy place back when the lumber trade was big. No one goes near it now, you know. It's like a, a train graveyard. On top of that, some folks say they've even seen ghosts there. I don't mean one or two ghosts, man. I mean like hundreds. Every now and then, a golden opportunity comes along. Like a chance to leave home for a while and earn a lot of money. There were plenty of them at the end of the 80s. The lumber mill was severely short-handed, so they called in a lot of outside workers. But the place was failing, and indeed it died before most of the poor guys got there. So there was like a load of labor workers that had nowhere to go, no place to work, no way to get back to where they came from. A fair amount of them decided to live on the train they had rode in on. I guess that must have been hard living, living on a train car that ain't moving. What kept them in town? Ah, now, the head of the lumber mill had been lying to them. Wait just a little longer, we'll have work for you soon, you know, that kind of thing. He was just a lying scumbag. I'm back. No way to rock, man, but lies. They only last so long. With each day that passed, those unemployed guys got more angry. But then, something happened. And the timing for it was incredible. The rail car they were spending the night in just happened to catch fire. With all them inside it. Incredible timing indeed. Oh yeah, but the police couldn't find any evidence to pin it on anyone. They didn't have all those gadgets and stuff you guys got now. And the police were annoyed the unemployed guys were causing trouble. Nothing happened to the head of the lumber mill. It made the news as an accident. Hmm. But the rumor says that a large number of those boys are still living in that train car, unaware that they're dead. You better be careful, Mr. FBI, if you go down there by yourself. <laughs> All right. Those were very expensive, so we're gonna go do them.
Ah, uh, the Greek, Greek, Greek cost. Yeah, is, is Lily not here? But yeah, no, if you think about it, um, like I was saying about letters, um, Oh, Lily just pieced the fuck out before I got here, huh? Um, but, um, like Keith and Lily. Their, their names are right next to each other, and they're married. And Isaac and Isaiah start with I, and... Wait, their grandfather's name is Jack, or is that the other guy? No, Jack the Raising Bull. Ra the Raging Bull. Um, What the hell is their grandfather's name? Okay, so let me take a right on my way out of here and then left. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just take a right and I keep right. And Olivia and Nick are married. Richard and Quint are father and son, you know? It, 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 it's like a poem, it rhymes. <coughs> Sorry, I you mute myself before that. And yet my car is still totally fine. You know what? There was one band that we both liked. We went all the way to New York to see them play. Right, Zach? It took us hours to get to New York by bus. We got to the CBGB and we were so nervous we couldn't go inside. It took us 30 minutes to gather enough courage to go inside. And inside, we were shocked. Right, Zach? I'll never forget that feeling. It was like a blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg bop. The Ramones. That song still makes me feel good. That's a sign of a classic. But it's amazing I got in without being asked for ID. Those were the good old days. Rock and roll high school and Chinese rock. Sheena is a punk rocker and surfing bird. And I was so depressed when I heard the news of the deaths. Original punk is one of the greatest gifts left from the 20th century. Let's hope they're still rocking on wherever they are. All right, and here we go. We, we're doing the the psychic spot, spirit tunnel. I think we'll do these, and then we'll um, we'll see how I feel after that. This is the famous paranormal place they talked about. Maybe I should give it a shot. My father. Bullseye. Bullseye. Yes. Let's just go full nutso on him. Bam, 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 bam.
Oh, right, you gotta get through the doors. First aid kits in my. Uh... You now we got some shotgun shells. Like, we love that for our not a shotgun that we don't have. Hello, ma'am. Now the shadows are. They're not zombies. Well, they, I mean, they they serve the basic purpose of a Zambambo, but um, oh, there's there's one left, I guess. Uh, but they are apparently corpses that are possessed. So that's, that's something. Okay, I just needed to wait for that guy to... Yes. Great. Yes. Close it. Yes. Great. Great. Sweet. Oh, we got a rupee. I'm taking the traffic going with me. Okay, they've got shotguns. I gotta, I gotta actually like, I gotta pay a little more attention. I can't just be stupid. Yes. Nice shot. Amazing. Yes. Nice shot. Close on. Nice shot. Hey, those fucking shotgun blasts, that is what will kill you. But we're good, on to the next room.
All right, one psychic spot down. I did it. All right, let's get that second one. Okay, so I just kind of kind of go down this road, eventually take a left and then a right. Go down that way a while and then eventually go off road. Okay. different from what I think about her now. Don't you think she's pretty mesmerizing? And Zach, she seemed interested in you. Did you make a move on her? No, don't answer. I'm just asking. But if you like her, I won't stand in your way. But I'd like to hear the truth. Because this kind of stuff could affect our friendship, you know. Me? I'm just interested in her, that's all. She doesn't love or anything. From what I can tell, she doesn't even seem to like me. It's pretty clear from how she acts when she's around me. As you know, Zach, I'm cautious with women. It's because I was badly burned in my last relationship. I really have no idea what women are thinking. That's my problem. You're pretty friendly with the ladies, aren't you, Zach? Maybe you should teach me about how to interact with women. Definitely, York. It's really starting to pour out there.
let's get this done with. Damn, 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 this is, this is bad, this is Amazing. bad. Okay, fuck, this is a, this is a bad, this is a bad place. This is a, this is a bad place. So I'm fully aware that I didn't take the time to go get the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the infinite, um, gun. Like, I get the idea of this room, but it's like... This is now officially a horror game. Okay, this is 
not good. This is a little bit crazy. Fuck you, steel pipe. Dork. Move, damn it. Uh oh. Okay, okay, no, that wasn't the end. That wasn't the end. Should have should have picked up my fucking infinite machine gun, but I didn't. Good, the turkey sandwich. Hey, Mokoi, shouldn't you go grab your fucking infinite gun? Nah. One down. Yeah, you smack that bitch with a shovel a few times. Bada bing, bada boom. Then he grabbed a sword. Broken, the truth goes unspoken. I've even forgotten my name. What is the reason? I don't know the season. Standing here all in my face. A dead's all in place. A down in your face. I don't really know going when I fear. Me that I spy as I stand up and fight. The only thing I know for real, there will be blood. Tread. The only one left. 
And render not her head because mountains don't give back what they take. Oh shit! Fuck! Was that it? That w oh, okay, that wasn't it. Great. Amazing. Bullseye. I forgot about Amazing. the aim assist. You got, a little, you got a nice little lock on. Okay, I guess I'll just put the stabilizer in my toolbox. Nice shot. Nice shot. Yes. Shooting, got lots of torpedoes. All right. Oh, the high quality beef. Okay, so there's two hits on that one. Go. All right, we get some first aid medium kits. Or, you didn't say that in the right order, but whatever. Oh, we got one more. Come on, then. Get, get the red hands. Swipe at me. Got the legend worm, which I don't know, really doesn't look like much of a worm to me, but here I go. Amazing. Bullseye. Yes. Great. Yes. Amazing. Bullseye. Mm. 
Ah, fucker. This lady going. Bling, 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 bling. Nice shot, bullseye. And I should have brought my infinite machine gun, but I fucking didn't. Should have brought my infinite machine gun, but I left it in the box. Should have brought my infinite machine gun. I've got a shotgun. Yes. Finite ammo is lame, and I can't hear the game. Cause the AC's on and we're having fun. And Kyodim is back and did that sound off correctly? Let me see. There's still one enemy in here. There you are. A nice shot. Yes. Bullseye. Yes. Down, chick, down, chick, down, now, chick, down, chick, down, chick, down, now. Sweet. Got some magnum bullets, man, for the, you know, the magnum I don't even have. And there we go, the 12 gauge shotgun. Yeah, I don't know what I did, but I've definitely missed out on ever getting fast travel, so that's good. Sorry, I can't see how far away I am from Harry's mansion. 
through the fucking... Oh, the road ends there. We went off-road there for a second. We went off-road there for a second, but we're good. Anyway, Zach, there aren't many young women left in this town. Even Emily could be targeted next. Can't rule that out. All the more reason to catch the raincoat killer ASAP. And that means working closely together. We can work out the Emily situation later. Don't get me wrong, Zach. I mean, I'm not interested in Emily because she's female or anything. I'm just saying she's interesting. You know, as an in interesting person. Uh-oh, everything just flickered. She reminds me of something I used to feel. That's all. Like back when I first met you. You know, that feeling we all used to feel back when we were kids. Feeling safe while also feeling a need to protect. That kind of feeling. But Zach, who made me feel that back then? Hey, get out of there! Anyways, we're getting closer one step at a time to cracking this case. I have a feeling it's going to get tough. Thanks, in the bathroom, um... Probably try to drink from the dripping faucet, even though, you know, he's got a full bowl of water downstairs, but no, it tastes better from the source, I guess. Isn't it weird that we're there are states where you don't pump your own gas? Is it still a thing? Yeah, this guy sucks. He spits on your car just because you want gas and then calls you a crap hat. It's like... Eh, fuck you, I had the right- I did not have the right of way at all. Um... I did not have the right of way at all. But let me grab my special guns. My- my special guns. No, of course, the fucking place isn't open. God damn it. God damn it, I'm gonna come after you. And one more save to save that I saved, and then we'll get on out of here. Wait, or is there is there just randomly your your like FBI briefcase? Um Yes. Randomly your FBI attache case.
Motherfucker! What the hell? It's mandatory for all field agents to carry a 9mm handgun, FBI custom. Well, yeah, so it's. So you can't just walk around with no fucking gun. Get rid of these fucking guns. I gotta get rid of some of these weapons. Some of these weapons. Some of these. I'll throw away a crowbar. I won't feel too bad losing a crowbar. <laughs> FBI, why are you throwing a crowbar on my floor, dude? Got <laughs> oh, fucked up. So it's pretty fucking punk rock. But all right, now we have the infinite machine gun and the infinite shotgun, and we can win the game. Ah, but we don't have a can of tomato sauce. Man, York reloads a fucking shotgun really fast, though. But there you go. We can officially say... I got a shotgun. Alright, but now let's save and get out of here. There you go. I was, I was late, but you got an extra 20 minutes. Which I will round up to say you got an extra 30 minutes. Let's get on out of here. Let's skedaddle. Let's, uh, let's put on that old song. And then we'll get on out of here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. No. Oh, damn it. All right, everybody, that's another Mokoi Super Stream in the can. We, uh,. I mean, we solved the museum. We followed a dude in a car, and we got some infinite ammo weapons. Um, no stream tomorrow, uh, because um, maybe I need a little. Uh, maybe I need a little break. Um, but also, you know, I don't know. Got to take Hank to the vet, so. Just, just gonna take a break tomorrow. Gonna, gonna take a break tomorrow. But I'll be back on Thursday for more Doom. Oh, fuck yeah, I love Doom. Thursdays are great. Love Doom. Great time. Um. So yeah, that's, that's all there is to that. Um. No kudos today, except the biggest kudo of all! Thank you all for tuning in and hanging out and being here. Um... I don't know, it's, it's, been, it's been a little quiet around here lately, but... I'll figure something out, I'll figure something out. But yeah, taking a break tomorrow, but I'll be back on Thursday! 
hopefully with some good news on the Hank front, and uh, we'll play some Doom at 3 p.m. Central Time. Um, fuck it, might as well raid. Um... Um... This doesn't look right at all. Um... Yeah, no, 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 don't, don't really like any of these streams. We'll just get on out of here. Eh, maybe, maybe it'll be better on Thursday. See you guys later. Goodbye.